After much hiccups and delay, the second Niger Bridge has been completed and delivered to the federal government. The Minister of Works, Dave Omahi, took delivery of the iconic infrastructure on behalf of the federal government from Julius Brazier. Seven months after it was inaugurated by former President Momodo Buhari, after inspecting the project, Omahi told newsmen that he is satisfied with the level of work done and described it as impeccable, very beautiful, and well completed. Let's share the story by TVC News Ikina Amechi with you. The second Nanja Bridge, conceived decades ago but started in 2018, was inaugurated in May this year. Though the contractor remained on site after months of working on the project to finish some aspects of the 1.6 kilometer long bridge, and today they are officially handing over the bridge to the federal government. In middle of the year uh, in May, the, the bridge was commissioned by the previous administration and today is a technical uh, I'm handing over with the Honorable Minister. He has seen what Julius Berger has delivered to the highest quality. I think he's satisfied. The Minister of Works, who received the project from the company, commended the former president for starting the project, adding that the next step will be taken by this administration. The structures we are seeing are the structures for the Tulin Plaza. The route is going to be completed when we have completed the two interchanges. One is taking us off from the Asaba town so that if you are coming to this bridge, you don't have to go through the Asaba town and encounter a lot of wood up. The other one and this to be done by JB. The other one is to be done by RCC, which takes us off from here, avoid on Nisha town and they gets us to Bosi. And that is when this entire job will say to be completed. His Excellency President Bola Metunibu is very committed to completing this project so that uh, tooling can uh, start. The second Nanja Bridge project has 46.9 kilometers of link roads which stretch from Onicha to Asaba, and it is the Asaba end that is yet to be completed. Yeah, the moment the two interchanges are done, then the food is ready and then the concession will come but then uh, part of the concessioning is for you know an investor to come and take over the funding of the two interchanges complete it and toll it and then recover your money and uh, the land we intend to acquire is also very helpful uh, for the recovery of uh, the funds of the investor because you are going to quite make a lot of money on the usual gridlock experience during the christmas season the minister also says the ministry will be working out modalities to ease traffic at the old and new bridges. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Asa. Jide, the second area bridge, you've yeah. um, paid a walking visit to that bridge before? Yes, um, I, I did a documentary early last year on the bridge. Um, at the time, they were still um, working on it. It's a thing of joy that a program or a project that was conceived uh, between 1978 and um, 1979 um, has now come to fruition. Um, the Shagari administration talked about it, but nothing happened. Obasanjo promised to deliver it when he was campaigning. <laughs> um, he couldn't do it. They didn't even start the project. Jonathan conducted the sword turning ceremony, which is like the official flag of, of the um, project. And he said that before he left power in 2015, that he would deliver it. Of course, after that um, groundbreaking ceremony, nothing was really done by the Jonathan uh, regime. But President Wari came and uh, thanks to funds uh, donated to us by <laughs> our perennial ancestor, uh, ancestor <laughs> benefactor with deep pockets, the late General Sami Abacha, 
We're able to find some funds. His pocket never run dry. Mm. From it, we are already thinking of collecting another one. Another one. The money comes yeah, every six months. They're very benevolent. We are told he kept the money for us. <laughs> when you talk to um, people like uh, his former security chief, Al Mustafa, he will say no. He never stole. Mm. He kept money for Nigeria. So we've been collecting what we he took. We, 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 we. We are happy to hear him talk like that, but we are not convinced. <laughs> sovereign uh, from money from the sovereign wealth fund was also um, handy, and at the end of the day, it cost three hundred and thirty-six billion naira to do this road. It's one of the most expensive uh, road construction in Nigerian history. Um, I think that one and the Abuja Kaduna. Kano Expressway. You know, it's dual carriageway all the way from Abuja to Kano. I think that, that is the most expensive of all. Um, we've got to give credit to President Buhari mm -hmm. because he was focused and he found the money uh, to finish this project. Unfortunately, because of fear of being attacked by bandits, by kidnappers, most of the time, the second Niger Bridge is unused. Drivers are reluctant to use it because it's usually lonely. It's usually lonely. People dread being... They're still using the old one. Yes, they use it a lot. Now, people are scared to use it because it's largely... Um, Nigeria is a very lonely. funny country. No, and, no, no, no. and that is why it was easy for some people to go and vandalize it the yeah. other day. They're saying we don't have infrastructure, we don't have infrastructure. Vandalizing the, the place is not, if it was always busy, where would they find the time to vandalize it as they have done? But that was what happened. I just hope that with security provided that uh, people, the people that they build this road for. Especially this season, this Utah season, you know? Yes. Always, the traffic there is always, you know. Hopefully, it, it, will, to it, divert. Will, help, it will help his traffic. Mm. And those uh, two... This old road, they should not use it. It should just divert. And those intersections, I just hope that they can finish them on time. Okay. Because it will ensure that you don't need to, Go to the drive township. through the town. um, uh, Onisha Township, for example. Okay, okay. inside the... Just to avoid the, mm. avoid the gridlock. That was entirely. Mm. And, uh, so it's, um, it's a thing of joy that that project has finally uh, been delivered. GKB. When you look at the the agitation for this project, as the time the Buhari government started, it was as if it's not possible. You know, they didn't start by going to the site. They, they were putting piling together, and people were saying, oh, nothing was that new bridge. Mm. I remember the conversation went on for a long time mm. that time, but now it has been delivered. Well, I'm, I'm very happy as a Nigerian. Uh, the earlier we second clove the country with roads and rail, the earlier our development will trigger off. And whatever else you are saying, this, this bridge is a fundamental part of that master plan, which of course includes the now to be done again uh, east-west road. Because there are some roads that are very important for commerce, uh, rural areas that need to be done. Nigeria is the only country I know, not the only country, but the, one of the few countries that we know that don't have a direct link between their port city and their capital. And in this case, we are now linking one part of the country to the other. And like the minister said, the ability to bypass the major towns is fundamental to further growth in all those areas that are covered. I know a lot of governors are also doing that, trying to ensure that whenever they build the major road, they build the bypass mm. so that development will come along with that new service. Even right now, I think in your states, there's a bypass being built that will take you from Quarry straight to Ashigire, cutting out the bad entirely. Oh, that's about one. I would love that. That's about 120 cutting kilometers. Cutting out the, the whole road, the nightmare no, called the whole road. You don't even get to the whole road. Kilometer 10 is a quarry, very near okay. that church, uh, Ajebo. Okay. So that you are not even in the bad Ajebo, yet. four square. Once you move to Kilometer 10, you turn right and you have to come out at Ashigire. Ashigire is the last place yes, yes. in all your states mm -hmm. before crossing the. Oh, the yeah. Honestly, <laughs> 121 <laughs> kilometers, and uh, 
People are doing that because you must have the vision that is beyond you mm. as a governor. It's for the benefit of the states. And that's why I think the bypass the minister is promising is fundamental. Because a lot of people using these roads will not be going to Asaba. Mm. They are not going to Onicha. Mm. They are going beyond Save those them travel time. So just cut off the town. You and know how much time we spend uh, within, within the, the city of Ibiza yeah. when we are traveling? Honestly, I will road, nightmare. So once it's done now, everybody just come out at Atashikide. And you are off. And while you are coming back, the bridge is also there to take you back to kilometer 10. And you continue to Lagos. All right.